So, if you're like me, when you first saw the Evox J8 come out a few years ago, if you looked at the specs, you looked at the specs of the Evox 8, you realize that they're pretty comparable, but the price of the Evox J8 is a lot less. And if you're like me, you probably wondered, all right, what's the catch? So we're gonna do this video today on the Evox J8 and the J Mix 8, and we're gonna figure out what the deal is with these really cool looking speakers. And we're gonna do that right now. What's going on everybody? Justin Schwartz here, content director with the DJ's Guru, coming at you as always from the DJ's Guru studio. And today we're gonna take a deep dive into the Evox J8, and we're gonna compare it against the Evox J Mix 8. Um, same speaker, different animal on the back, as we'll see later when we go and test it. Now, uh, before we get into everything, as always, if you're enjoying, our videos, our content, our community, subscribe below to our YouTube channel, like this video, share this video, and if you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. We're here to help, we're here to spread love and be uh, able to answer questions for you that you have, so feel free to drop us a line, okay? Now, let's get into the specs of the RCF Evox J8. So. The first thing that jumps out at you is the 128 SPL, um, which for a performer, a DJ, musician, any type of performer that's gonna be playing loud music, that's, that's pretty, pretty loud. Um, so um, it's a 1400 watt peak by amplified system, so you're talking about a 700 watt RMS, and it's a 12 inch woofer with a 2.5 inch voice coil, and then the top column has eight two inch full range drivers. Um, of course, as always, RCF has that awesome fur phase filtering technology, and you have a 120 by 30 dispersion, which is extremely wide, and then you have a pretty good angle of coverage, so it's, it's, uh, it, it sounds, and it's different from the Evox 12, which is more like a 90 by 30, um, so I'm interested to see the even coverage of it and see, see how that works out. Um, now, as far as the weight, it's very lightweight. It's coming in under 60 pounds uh, for the whole system. And you know anyone that is able to, or looking to do smaller micro style events in and out, this is just a great system. It's super portable, super lightweight, and um, definitely something that I think is a, a big thing moving forward as we go into this new world that we're living in now. Um, systems like the Evox J8 are going to be really, really important uh, when you're doing, you know, smaller events. Um, it's, it's important to have proper tools for the proper type of events. You don't want to be bringing out your big system uh, when you're doing, you know, an 80-person communion or something like that. So, anyway, now the J Mix 8, like I said earlier, same speaker, um, and oh, by the way, these both come in black and white. So, J Mix 8. Uh, same speaker, but on the back, totally different animal. So you have a digital mixer built into the back, and it's not, you know, a cheaply made mixer. It's high quality compo components. There's Neutrik inputs, which is brand name. Everything is super high quality, and then there's like a little computer built in for all your parametric controls, digital signal processing, uh, and a lot of uh, variations on where you can send the signal. Um, 
It's four line mic inputs with phantom power um, on mics uh, input one and two, I believe. So you can even use condenser mics with it. Um, you have two monos, you have an RCA input, you have Bluetooth capability so you can connect to a smart device. Um, it has an auxiliary output. What I like about the auxiliary output is it allows you to um, take any channel that you have plugged in and shoot it out to someone who might be listening or need to listen to what's going on. And you can actually choose and individually choose the channels and how you want to do that. So um, a lot of really cool digital features built into the, the J Mix series. And um, that's really what's going to separate it and is going to change you up uh, from about a $400 difference between the J8 and the J Mix 8. But uh, what I have recommended to a lot of people is you buy one of each because it's nice to have the, the mixer uh, version because I always recommend people having an external line mixer. But I'll tell you, you know, after using it, uh, and using similar features uh, on other items, it's really nice to have this kind of stuff integrated. It's just easier. Again, as we move forward, we want things to be easier. We want things to be more compact in and out. You know, I think is going to be the term moving forward for a lot of these types of micro events. You know, so definitely something I think you should think about. And I, I would say, you know, maybe look into one of buying uh, buying one of uh, or the other if you're going to make a purchase of it. So anyway. Um, most importantly, we want to hear how this thing sounds, of course. So as usual, RCF is um, always known for great sound quality. You've seen my reviews on RCF before. I use the brand. Uh, I've used it for a long time. I'm very, uh, very much a big fan of it. And, um, you know, I'm interested to see how this sounds. Now, the big difference between the Evox J8 versus the Evox 8, and obviously there's a big price difference, is that the J series is a composite or a plastic box. And that is kind of where they're saving the, the big portion of, of what, you know, of what the cost is and why you're paying so much less. So that's going to make it lighter weight, but, um, it also is, it's a cheaper style component at the end of the day. So that's relevant to the cost. So it makes sense. I have to tell you, I don't expect the J to sound as good. I know the specs are the same, but, it's not, I don't see how it can sound as good. Wood always is going to compress the air better. It's always going to sound richer, warmer. Um, but again, everything is relevant. So, you know, uh, let's go hear how it sounds. Okay, so we're going to go to the sound check. All right, so we're about ready to do our sound check. But first, I just wanted to show you how simple this thing is to put together and also let you know I just loaded this thing in the system, my controller, a couple other things two loads so simple so portable uh, and super lightweight so there is a trade-off with the composite box where it is a lot lighter weight so wooden is always going to be more heavy uh, than the composite plastic box so uh, you know again there's always a trade-off and obviously that's why you have a lower cost on the j8 versus the standard evox 8. so anyway what i really like about the design of this is the column actually sits right in the back of the sub so you don't have any extra pieces that basically other than the pole in this bag and the column right here with the bag that goes over it um, it's the entire system like that and then you just put the column right up like this it's actually on a tiltable um, um, pole mount here and it's an m20 threaded pole uh, which is different than what you may have seen before with some of the magnetic clicking systems. We're excited to hear what it sounds like and uh, we're going to do that just a bit. All right, so if we take a look at the back of the black Evox J8, this is the standard version. This is your standard RCF inputs on the back. It's a balanced input in and then you have a parallel throughout XLR female output. You have your volume and your control there in the center. You have your limiter, your signal, and your status update indicators there. And then you have a flat and a bass boost option along with input sensitivity that's going to give you uh, plus, plus dB if you're looking to use it as a PA system. Again, you never want to use that if you're using that as a DJ. Always have to keep it online uh, when you have that. And if you have your connections there, up to your pole and up to your column array. Okay, and this is our white J Mix 8 from RCF. If you look at the back of it like we did on the J8, 
Again, it has the section here where you put the column array with the padding there. You have your standard input, you have your limiter, your flat, and your boost there as well. And then you don't see anything as far as mic sensitivity there because there's a whole nother animal going on here on the top of this. So this is the mixer section of the Evox JMX8 and you have eight total inputs including Bluetooth as well as um, four mic line or instrument inputs that are both XLR and quarter inch. Those are balanced Neutrik connectors there's high quality components on an inexpensive uh, column array system for RCF so they start putting still putting the high quality components there in the mixer next you have a ton of different options as far as tweaking your sound um, if you're a band if you're a musician if you're any type of performer other than a DJ this is something incredible I think for um, for you or your band or your house of worship or your school or so many applications with this particular version because you have so many options to plug in. You also have a stereo line 5 and 6 mono input for a left and a right uh, with control over that as well as your Bluetooth channels and an RCA input there because you just never know when someone's going to need to throw something in there and you need that RCA. You got a foot switch and an aux out as well so you have a lot going on in this mixer. A lot that you can do with it and uh, alone it's a PA system. It's incredible. Alright so we're going to do our first song for our sound check. We're going to start off with some real slower trap style music with some real dirty low end. I want to hear how these 12 inches uh, woofer sound in the plastic composite box compared to my Evox 12s, compared to some of the Evox 8s that I've heard in the wooden box. So uh, I think it's a good song to start off with. So here we go. All right, we're gonna walk around and let's uh, let's hear what we hear. So far, very clean. No distortion. The kick's coming in. Now, I hear it really well. I feel it a little bit. I'm not feeling it like I do with my Evox 8 uh, or the ones that I've heard in my, the Evox 12 that I've tested out before in the same environment. So, but for what it is and what it costs, it is so clean. It is crisp. And the low end, although I don't feel it, it sounds really good. And you can definitely, like I'm in a backyard right now, this is a perfect type of a sound that I'd want at a, at a backyard party. So uh, let's try another song and see what happens. All right, so we're gonna go with song number two, a little bit more of like a pop rock style. We've used this song before and I wanna really compare it with these so I can kind of tell the difference really with an A to A comparison with the same song. So let's, uh, again, this is more of a rock song and these are great. I definitely would say for like a solo band as well as a DJ, of course, but uh, any type of performer, I mean, that's what I think these are really great for because they're so they're so compact and easy to set up. So let's hear what it sounds like. Wow, okay. So I can feel the bass right here. As I walk away a little bit, you know, I stop feeling it as much on the ground. Keep in mind, I'm outside. This is a terrible environment. If you're inside in a ballroom, you're gonna feel it. Uh, where I don't necessarily right now because I'm on wet ground right now, essentially. But I'm just listening. It still has that, that sound that I always hear from RCF, which is, again, always very clear, clean. It's not distorted at all, it's very balanced. And as I kind of walk around here, I'm still hearing it the same way. So it's also very balanced. Um, and, and the dispersion is actually really great. So let's keep it walking here. And I'm losing a little bit over here, you know? 
but um, you know, you see how I have them positioned over there. Not uh, totally wide, so you could always put them wider. Um, but I'm impressed, definitely. All right, so as usual, I like to test out like an EDM style house music song with a really good low end kick because that's really important to me and I think that's the type of music that is uh, really what gets people out of their seats, gets them going, gets them dancing. So I wanna hear what that sounds like. We've used this song before, it's a good one and I wanna again test this song out against what I've heard about the speakers in the past. So let's give a listen. All right, so immediately I've heard this song before and the kick came off really good. So what I wanna do now is kinda like, let's stand in front of the system and you know, if you're dancing in a dance floor, this is kind of where you're gonna be. Now, I've definitely got more headroom than this, but this is loud enough, I feel the bass, and it's really clean. It's not blaring in your face, you know, like a two-way system will do. You can already hear I have to yell over it now that the sound is really coming in. You got all different frequency levels coming in now. It's handling them really well. Extremely clear, extremely crisp, and balanced. Okay, so we're gonna do our stress test. We'll see how we can, uh, how loud we can make these go. Uh, I'm at Unity here in the back. I'm not gonna go higher than that. I'm gonna see if I can uh, do it from the master on the mixer and uh, redline it that way. But I'm gonna keep it at Unity. I have my, you know, my channel fader all the way up. Right now, master is at zero. We're at Unity, and same deal over here on the J mix. Volume is at the same spot. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can uh, redline these things. Uh, so far we're in green. So we're gonna move back to our mixer. Then we're gonna go and we're gonna raise the master. stop because I was not able to redline them on that song and I literally have run out of volume. I'm not going to turn the uh, the gain up but you have massive headroom on these. More than I expected. Um, when I was doing my test even it definitely wasn't louder as loud as it could have been. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, this is a 128 dB max SPL so I don't think they're kidding with that. <laughs> um, you just heard it. I had a scream and it was a redlining. So uh, pretty, pretty good. So uh, I always like to show them in the back and uh, I'm pretty sure everyone in the world right now drives a crossover. So this is a crossover, not a big one, you know, midsize. And you got plenty of room in the back for extra stuff. So if you've got a small controller, if you have a microphone, I mean, um, other than a table and a booth, I mean, you pretty much have a full system in your back uh, trunk. It's pretty incredible. Everybody, welcome back to the studio. Did you have a good time out there with me? I know I did. So um, anyway, we really enjoyed listening to and learning more about the Evox J8 and the J Mix 8. Really impressive system. I mean, that sound test at the end was super impressive. I have to tell you, I can't believe I couldn't redline the thing, but uh, I'm sure with a different style saw, maybe I could have, but either way, it was impressive at this price point. Um, 
and let's talk about some of the things that I liked. Let's talk about some of the things that I, I didn't love. Uh, what do I like about it? Okay, so I love the price point. I mean, I have to say, value-wise, this is one of the better values that I've heard that I've seen for what you get, for what you're paying for it, the available options being available black and white, having the mixer option for $400 more. It's really versatile, you know, this GA series from uh, RCF. So I really like that about it. Obviously, the price, the value, and the versatility. So that's one thing. Now, it sounded incredible. It sounded great for the price. Did it sound like an Evox A? Did it sound like an Evox 12? It did not. You know, not entirely. It, it, it was it was more hollow to me. It didn't sound as full, as rich, you know, um, than what I am used to with the Evox 12 system that I use a lot. So um, listen, you, again, you we always say you get what you pay for, but it's true in this case. They had to use some cheaper components to get you to a, a lower price point, um, and that's just what it is. But that being said, it still sounds amazing for the price and the output is definitely there as we heard. So uh, the sound quality I love. Uh, what else do I like about it? Of course, we just already mentioned this, but the portability, I love how the column array sits right inside the sub. Uh, I didn't have the cover today, but you just can drop a cover over it and then you're all set in one box. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I, let's talk about some of the things that I didn't like about it. And I have to be honest, there's really not all that much that I don't like about it because it's an incredible price. So you have to be fair when you start to look at what you're getting for uh, what you're paying when, when it comes to this particular system. So we talked about before, I wasn't crazy about the, uh, the white system that come with a white cable, not a big deal. Um, it's, it's odd to me, I think that they did the M20 because it has the 120 wide, but at the same time, I'm not, that's again, not, not a big deal. Um, but you do want to try to keep that straight and head on and, and, and make it wide if you can, uh, don't, don't tilt them, uh, because you're going to throw off that, that 120 degree dispersion that it has. So you want to keep it kind of flat this direction. And when I say flat, I mean, literally. Um, so anyway, that said, um, you know, that's, not, that's really about all I don't like about it. There's not much I don't like about it because it's, again, such a great value. So I'm not trying to, you know, be a homer here or, um, you know, an RCF lover. We all know I like RCF, but um, at this price point, it's like a no-brainer. It really is. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm impressed. I think it's a great value, and uh, I would definitely recommend it. So, All right, everybody. So once again, thanks for joining us today. The DJ's Guru Reviews here. We really enjoy and we really appreciate you tuning into all our reviews and being part of our community. Uh, we're growing every day and it's exciting and I'm just happy that you're along for the ride. So um, in conclusion, the RCF Evox J8, J8 Mix, uh, J Mix 8, I'm sorry. Definitely recommend it. I think for a portable column array, it is a very solid choice. I would say 125 to 150 to 180 ish maybe depends on the room i always say that so everyone out there you know you have to do a sound check when you're in the room um you, it's difficult to say and answer these questions until i can I, we can see these environments so anyway um that's what i would say it's best for you know i definitely could say you could do a wedding with this a smaller wedding you could do uh public address you could do any type of party, you know, uh, private event for musicians and for our band members out there, you know, great system just to, to plug in, especially the J mix eight and, and, you know, for churches, house of worships, anything in that environment have the ability to plug a lot of different, uh, instruments and or lines and inputs into it. Plus you have Bluetooth, you know, there's so many things that you can do with it, and uh, it really is like a Swiss Army knife, the, the mixer series of this. So, um, again, if you're going to buy two, buy one, one, one of each. I recommend that. To have that mixer in there is invaluable. So, uh, all in all, great, great job by RCF. I love it. Don't forget about the Evox app. So, there's an application available for iOS, uh, iOS or Android that you can get, and... Uh, works with the J Mix 8 version 
and it's going to allow you to control everything that you can from the actual uh, speaker itself from your mobile device. So if you're doing a sound check in the room, you can actually do it from your phone, dial everything in. And um, that's, uh, you know, as for a solo operator, that's something that's, you know, really cool to know that you have that ability to sound check it and really um, dial in the right sound. So if you, if you do want to raise the mids or lower the bass or whatever it is, you don't have to do it uh, based on what you remembered hearing, you know, a minute ago when you had to go back to the, to the mixer section and do it. So the Evox app, definitely a very cool addition and that's free, uh, free download and, and that's included with the Evox JMix system. Thank you so much for joining us today, DJ's Guru family. We appreciate it as always. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy what we're doing here, please subscribe to our videos. Uh, like it, give it a like. And if you have any questions, any comments, whatever the case may be, questions on anything, drop them down below. I'm always happy to answer questions. We're growing every day. We're gonna have a team of people behind us uh, very soon and uh, we're looking forward to it. So thank you. And uh, as always, everyone, we'll see you on the flip side.